Is it okay? Okay. Very good. On 28th July, the UN Special Envoy um, Martin Griffiths, General Guha, and Under Secretary General Lowcock briefed the Security Council about delays to the political process and warned of increasing levels of acute malnutrition. Mrs. Alma Sabi and Mrs. Al Sadi briefed about the situation for persons with disabilities as well as, as well as the health system. The members of the Security Council emphasized their support for inclusivity in the Yemeni-led and Yemeni-owned political process as set out in relevant UN resolutions, including Resolution 2216 of 2015, as well as by the Gulf Cooperation Council initiative and its implementation mechanism and the outcome of the National Dialogue Conference. They expressed steadfast support for Griffith and called on the parties to agree to the mediated proposals with haste. They welcomed the efforts of Saudi Arabia to reactivate the Riyadh Agreement and underlined the importance of swift and effective implementation. They reaffirmed Resolution 2532 and reiterated support for the 25 March Secretary General call for cessation of hostilities. They expressed deep concern at funding shortfalls that exacerbate the growing risk of ac acute malnutrition. They called on all donors and to urgently step up, disperse their pledges and save lives. The members um, of the Security Council reiterated their deep alarm at the growing risk the Safar oil tanker could rupture or explode. They noted conflicting Houthi announcements regarding UN access to the Safar tanker and called for concrete action as soon as possible, including agreeing to entry permits, a safe travel route to the tanker and all other logistical arrangements in order to facilitate unconditional access for United Nations technical experts to assess the tanker's condition, conduct any possible urgent repairs, and make recommendations for the safe extraction of the oil, ensuring close cooperation with the United Nations. They looked forward to seeing concrete action implemented without delay. The members of the Security Council reaffirmed their strong commitment to the unity, sovereignty, independence, and ter territorial integrity of Yemen. Thank you. Yes. Um, in, in your speech in the Council, you made the point that this was the most pessimistic that you've seen Mr. Griffiths be. Given that he now says the window of opportunity for peace may be closing, is it time to think about a new approach? I don't think that there is an, um, there is an alternative to uh, diplomacy. Um, the, um, Martin Griffiths has laid out um, the plan, or the parties have laid out their plan their, um, with regard to the ceasefire, their joint declaration, and uh, Martin Griffiths will continue to work very hard for the implementation, for the signing of this declaration, for the implementation. And um, he is um, going from uh, party to party and, and those um, in the region that have influence to uh, see to it that this is implemented. Um, we need the political will for it. Um, I think that the meeting today where we had the strong voice of uh, these two women from civil society, um, I think there was nobody who was not moved by their statements, their description of the situation on the ground. Um, with the support of the Security Council here, the weight, then we, um, we hope that Martin and his efforts will be, will be successful and the parties will uh, be conscious of the fact that the world are, is, is looking at them. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, hope that you will have more occasions uh, to... Uh,